the reality of it is black folks built this country, period. Okay. And, and so, you know, what I would say is that we need to, we need to recognize that and, and, and rebirth that in our DNA uh, and in such a way that is empowering and moves us beyond the stereotypes that, that have arisen since the 1960s. Status quo doesn't like change. That's, that's Democrat, Republican, right, left. They don't like change. I like things the way they are. What do you mean I've got to do it differently? What do you mean now he or she can come into the same room we're in and have a piece of this pie? Um, people don't like change. That's, that's the nature of nature. Uh, and, um, but unfortunately, um, you know, that's not how it is. Things do change. Uh, and, and people uh, react to that differently. Some people uh, want to lead the charge in change and other people want to resist it by any means necessary. Um, as a young man, I always, uh, I, I studied Malcolm X and Martin Luther King and I melded the two in my philosophy because they were both right. Uh, and so for me, in terms of looking at the progression of African Americans, as a young man myself, coming into a world that really didn't want me there, despite all the nice sounding words and, excuse me, the eventual policies that people put in place uh, to make it easier for me, um, those policies I found were more detrimental than anything else because they stripped away my dignity. They made me reliant on, on a new type of, of uh, addiction, you know, uh, handouts, programs, you know, government institutions that told me at every turn, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So you go on welfare, but don't get a job because the minute you do, we cut your benefits. So you get this, 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 this psychology that's built in, well, I, I won't go look for work because this check is steady. I got to go now and compete and fight for a job, and I, I, you know, if I do that, then I lose. And we've seen the stories, and, and the press has reported on those stories. Um, so I look at the philosophies of these two men, and I see, yeah, we want, we want to achieve civil rights by any means necessary. We want to progress and advance our cause by any means necessary. In other words, I'm willing to go peacefully into that good night. <laughs> But the minute you start to come at me the wrong way, I will push back. I will achieve my goal by any means necessary. And I think that's got to be the attitude of the post-civil rights uh, community in the face of a lot of the, a lot of the institutionalized uh, vestiges of racism that still exist. 